I found the perfect chart plugin for your WordPress website, compatible with all themes and it will really blow you away. Log into your WordPress website. If you're still using WP Admin, no! nope. no! that's not a very safe way, so please watch my tutorial about securing your WordPress website. And go to Plugins, Add New Plugin. Then we're going to look for the plugin called Chartify and press Enter. Now this plugin is relatively unknown, but it has 22 types of different graphs. We can use different kinds of data sources and their support is amazing. Press install now and then we press on activate. After activating, you can see over here a new menu item chart building. Let's go to all charts. Here we can see that we have a default chart, but we're not gonna use that one. I'm going to create a new one from start so you know exactly how this plugin works and if it's suitable for your project. Press on add new. Let's first start with a pie chart and after that I'm going to upgrade to the pro version so you can see different kind of charts and more options. Let's go with the pie chart. Press next over here. The first thing we'll do is we're going to add in a title. CMS used worldwide. Then we see on the right sides, we see all kinds of settings. Source, the settings, and the pie settings. I'm gonna walk you through all these steps, but first we're going to add in some manual data. The first one is to explain how the data should be interpreted. In our case, we're gonna talk about CMS market share, and this is the percentage. And then we can add in all these things. If you want to add more data to your chart, you just press on add row. These are actual data points taken in June 2023. So this is actually real data. And last but certainly not least, WordPress with a total market share of 43.2% worldwide websites. Once you have added in the manual data, you can press on show on chart. Here we go, now the chart has been updated and as you can see, it's also interactive to really help on your visitors. And you can also move them around. So if you want to move it around, just drag and drop it to there, press show on chart and you will see how your chart is being built up right now. So we can actually use the bigger percentages on top. For example, we have like this and then you have the absolutely, there we go. So now we have the chart going this way. If you created it exactly the way you want it, press save and close. And then you can see the short code over there. Just copy this one and then you go to your website and add in a text module. Or if you're using Gutenberg, you can use also the text block. Just go to your editor and add in the chart short code, just like this. Scroll down now. We can see over here that it's interactive and it works with our mouse hovering over it. So let me show you how you can tweak it even more. If we click on edit. Now the real value of this plugin is of course when you import the data from files, but also if you connect it to Google Sheets, it's even better. Or you want to connect it to your database as a developer, it's all possible within the pro plugin. I'm gonna show you that in just a minute. Now let's go to settings. Here on the general settings, you can first of all enable or disable the chart. Very useful, especially when you disable this one, you won't have to remove any shortcodes. The shortcode will just not show any chart. And then we have the chart description. If I use, for example, this description and I press save and close, you will now see on my website that you can see the title and also a description over there. Then we can choose to show the chart title or the description. You can disable it over there and you can disable the interactivity. When you hover over it now, nothing happens. Then we go to styles. Then we can change the width of the entire chart. It's now percentage, but you can also put it on pixels. And this enables you to really control the width of the entire module. If you change the width of your pie chart over there, make sure to enable this switch. It makes sure that whatever size screen you're using, the pie chart is still visible at 100%. Then we scroll down. Here you could change the position or the alignment of the chart if your width is not set to 100%. So if I choose to put it on the left side and my width is 50%, the entire chart will be placed left, or right, or at the center. This will not work if you have the width on 100%. Here you can change the height of the container in pixels or in percentages. And then we can change the font size to whatever you want. 
when you click on this one, you can set the background color for the chart you have. Then we have a border width. You can also add this one to add a border to your chart and change the color over here. And we can also add margins all around. Then you can style the title, chart title, color, font size, bold, italic, position, title gap, really extensive also for the description. And then we go to the tooltip. Here you can trigger the tooltip when hovering like this or when selected. So when you click on it, you'll see this and it stays there while selected. But you can also disable the tooltip entirely so you can only hover over it and click it. Excellent, that's a really great feature. Then you can also show the color code when hovering over it. Let me show how that works. Now when you click on it, you can see the little dot color on the inside of the tooltip. Then we can change the text color of the tooltip, the font size, the italic and the bold text. We go to the legend. Then you can change the position of the legend. If you want to have it left on the chart, above the chart, below the chart, labeled, or just omit it so people have to hover over it or click on it to see what it actually is. And here you can choose the alignment of your legend, start, center, or end. And you can change the color, the size, again, everything. And then the next one, the live chart and the front end actions, I'm gonna show you this later on in the pro version. Then we have the pie settings over there. Here you can choose the degree of chart rotation. If you add in, for example, 90, you will see the entire pie chart moving, but the percentages and the tooltips all stay right positions. So that's really great. And here you have another useful feature, reverse categories. If we click on this one, it just reverses. Amazing. Here we can change the slice and border color. If you make it black, for example, you can see what happens to our chart but I like white. In a slice text, you can change it to percentage, quantitative value, the name, or just disable it entirely. Then you have the slice tooltip text. When you hover over it, you can see the value and the percentage. So WordPress is 43.4, or you can change it to only the value, like 43, or just only the percentage, 43.4%. Now in our case, this is actually the best one because value and percentage is just a little bit too much. So I'm gonna change this to, val to percentage. Then we have the chart data grouping limit, the grouping label and the grouping color. This is a very powerful feature if you're importing your data from a database or a Google Sheet. If you have slices that are smaller than 0.5, it will be combined to one slice and the name of this of this slice will be called other or something else you define over here. Let's go to slices settings in here. In here we have all our slices as you can see them, but now we can actually change them according to the color we want. For example, I want Wix the color to be black as that is the color of Wix. We can just make it black. And if you want to point out certain data in your graph, you can also use the offset. It's from zero to one. So you can use 0.5, for example. This is what happens if you use one, it's all over there. And if you want 0.3, now you can add in the chart inside of your content, who's talking about Wix, for example. And you can also change the text color in here of the individual slices. Let's get the pro version of this plugin. If you want to support me and I will be forever grateful, go to wpressdoctor.com slash chart or go into the comment section is also there. And then we are at the developer of this plugin. The quality of plugins they create is astounding. That's why I make different kind of videos over their plugins because they are really good. They always work. Let's click on buy now. To make things easy, they only have two plans. The biggest difference is lifetime updates, lifetime support, and can be used on unlimited websites or just five websites. Just choose the plan you would like to receive. I'm going with the developer license as I have way more clients than five. So I'm gonna press buy now. You can put all your data in here and pay with PayPal or with a credit card. Don't forget to agree on the terms and condition and press checkout. You'll receive an email so that you can log in and download the chart plugin. Then we go to plugins, add new plugin. Then we click on upload plugin. And we're gonna select the plugin file we've just downloaded from the website. We press install now. Then you will be asked if you want to replace it. Yes, we want to replace current with uploaded. Click on it. Here we go. Now, if you now go to chart builder, all charts, now you will see that the chart we have created is still there. So everything is good. If we now press on add new chart, now we can choose all kinds of charts that are available within this plugin. And 
this is really extensive. You can create any kind of chart that you want. You can create a geo chart. I'm going to see that one. Press next. Here we can see all the countries in the world and you can choose, for example, the population or maybe my subscribers. And I can add in a URL even. Oh, that's even great. If you don't know the countries, just press on this list and you will see over here a list of all the country names. You also can have the combo chart. This also looks like a pretty amazing chart. Let's see how an organization chart works. Now, this is one chart I have a lot of customers always asking for. How can we create this within WordPress? Now you can. And we can also style this a little bit to make it, for example, large. You can also put bubbles and charts and tables and timelines, tree maps, 3D pie charts. This really is great. All right, but what I wanted to show you was the import data from a file. Now, if you want to know how to build it up, you can use the example file. And when you open it, this is what you will see. Just a very simple CSV file with all the data inside of it. Month, income, outcome. If you want to upload it, you just press on browse, open the file and you can show results. This is the file I've just uploaded. And I also can do show on chart. And now we have the CSV file imported into our chart, but we can also connect to Google Sheets. I want to do this, so I'm gonna click on this page. And then we are at the general settings. Just click over here and click first on console.developers.google.com. And as I have already created a WooCommerce stock sync tutorial, I'm gonna create a new project. And I'm going to call the project WordPress charts in here. And we have no organization, this is great. Press create. Then when it has been created, I press select project over here. Then we click on this button, enable APIs and services. Click on it. Then we type in here, Google Sheet API. We press enter. And then here we are, click on it and click on enable. Then click on back. And we're gonna enable another one, which is called Drive API in here. Use the first one, Google Drive API, and click on Enable. Here we go. And after that, I'm going to Credentials in here. Then I go to Create Credentials, a OAuth client idea. Click on it. Then I need to configure my consent screen. So I click on this button. I'm going to use External and press Create. Then I'm going to create the app information. The app name will be the chart plugin in here and then my support mail should be the at wpressdoctor.com now we don't need a logo the domain that's all good we just need to authorize domain so we're going to add in the website that you are using this on in this case it is mortgagediffy.com but just don't use the https and everything just like this and then the developer is again your email address and then we're going to click on save and continue over here Press save and continue and press save and continue. And this will go back to dashboard. All right, and we're gonna press on publish app. Press confirm. Now we go to the credentials and we're gonna create credentials OAuth client ID. Click on it. I'm gonna choose the web application, application type in here. And the name should be our chart plugin, WordPress. Then we go back to our website in here and we're going to add this url we're going to copy this one on here we're going to press add url and we're going to add it in over there and press create here we go the oauth has been created then we're going to copy the client id copy it and paste it in over here also with this client secret we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it in over there and then we're going to press on connect there we go then we with Google, choose an account. I want to use the at wpressdoctor.com. Now, if you see this screen, we just have to wait a little while until it has been processed. As Google says, it may take five minutes to a few hours to set things to take effect. And just try it again a little bit later. Press on connect. We can choose this account. Then we press on advanced and we press go to mortgagediffy.com. And then we want our website to have access to all of these things and scroll down and press continue. Then we are connected to our Google Drive so we can upload our Google Sheets. Then we go back to all charts. 
We're going to add a new chart. And we're going to create the donut chart next. And then we press on connect to Google Sheets in here. And you select your spreadsheet that you want to use. For example, the chart data, click on it. And then we press on show results. And then we see this, which is exactly the same as we've just uploaded. And then we press on show on chart and this is what you get. So it works actually amazing and you can select all the spreadsheets you have or just search throughout all your spreadsheets you have inside of your Google Drive or Google Sheets. If you like this video, you might want to watch this video, which is about integrating Google Sheets with WooCommerce. It also works great with a plugin from the same developers. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.